Hello everyone, Mig here from Hopper Adventures. Hope everyone is doing amazingly well. We're really excited for the fourth and final round of this year's Grasshopper Adventure series, the 27th annual, and the series finale taking place in Ukiah this Saturday, May 11th. There's two courses. Hopefully you know which one you're doing. There's the long course and there is the short course at 76 miles and 8,400 feet. It is a proper hopper. I will be out there with a couple others marking the course, doing the best we can. Please, please, please download the route. Have it on your device. Use it for navigation. We will do our best, uh, but use your uh, devices and your common sense out there. We don't want anybody getting turned around. On the short course, same thing. Please make sure that you download the route and that you have it available. You'll notice that both long and short start out the same way from Todd Grove. The neutral rollout is pretty much the pavement here, uh, about two miles, and they'll pull off and then we'll climb up Low Gap Road. As a reminder, for both of the courses, the roads are open. There aren't many people out there, but you can see a vehicle. So please ride with caution. A portion of the proceeds will go to support the Mariah Wilson Foundation. Besides the Hopper donation, there's several ways that you all can uh, do your part to help uh, with the legacy of Mo and the work that they're doing there in Vermont to support, uh, support the youth. One is you can purchase a ride for Mo hat at Reg, 40 bucks. You can donate directly to the foundation. You can purchase raffle tickets to win either a specialized crux or Roubaix. One ticket for 20 bucks and six for a hundred bucks. We're really hoping to raise at least a $5,000 on this on the day of the event. The tickets will only be sold the day of the event or on Friday at registration and the raffle will happen at the end of the afternoon. In addition, Friday afternoon, thanks to Cultivo Restaurant and Ukiah Brewing Company, will be donating a portion of their proceeds to the Mariah Wilson Foundation. The Wilson family recorded a short video that I'm gonna play for you guys. And go ahead. Hi folks, I'm Eric, Mariah's dad. I'm Karen, Mariah's mom. And I'm Matt, Mariah's brother. And we started the Mariah Wilson Foundation last year in honor of Mariah's life. And our mission is to promote healthy living and community building by supporting organizations dedicated to expanding access to sport, recreation, and educational programs. Our motivation for starting the foundation was to carry on Mariah's dream of giving back to the community. And some of the ways we're doing that is through Little Bella's, Mountain Bike Camps for Girls, Vermont Youth Cycling, Kingdom Kids, and others. All of these are in line with our mission. On our website, you can read more about Mariah's story and uh, the things that we're doing at MariahWilsonFoundation.org. And we'd like to thank Miguel, Ian, the Ukiah community, and all those supporting the event and all of you participating in the event uh, for your love and support. Um, we know that Mariah had many great days out there uh, and enjoyed the Hopper series very, very much. And she shared a lot of those stories with us. And uh, we hope that today you can, uh, as you're riding out there, you'll sense her spirit and that you'll just all have a great day and a lot of fun today. Thank you so much. Right from the And go ahead. Hi, folks. I'm Eric Mariah's dad. Um, in addition to the ride, something else is going to make this a, a special event is that Thursday and Friday we'll have a couple of shakeout rides. So Thursday um, at 10 a.m., rolling from Black Oak, you can join the Hopper crew, myself and Ian, and some others up 
to the top of Logap and then back to get a, ch a sense of what the course is like. And then on Friday, join Enduro Bearings um, for a no drop shakeout ride starting at Blackout Coffee in Ukiah. You can sign up here and get more information on our webpage. Registration, two different times that you guys can check in. Friday, 5 to 8 at the Ukiah Welcome Center, and Saturday, 6 a.m. to 7.45 at Todd Grove Park. Um, we will have day of registration um, for an additional fee, as well as transfers if you didn't get to do that by the deadline. Some information for you guys about the venue layout. And we will also, in an email, be sending a PDF of this slideshow so it's clickable and you can follow these links. This is a general layout of Todd Grove Park that includes parking at Anton Stadium, uh, and which is camping also on Friday and Saturday. Street parking is allowed. Um, and then there's a couple other links here for you guys to follow to park around the town. We'll be talking about the battle, bottle drop, staging, the finish, and other things related to the event. Tent camping will be uh, at the end of Anton Stadium. Van parking trucks in here. We'll have portos at the stadium and then also on the other side of the park. Thanks again to Cultivo and Ukiah Brewing Company. We hope that you folks will come and spend a night or a couple of nights in Ukiah. Check in for Reg, dine out at Cultivo, have a beer at the Ukiah Brewing Company, both of which are making donations to the Mariah Wilson Foundation. Those of you who wish to, uh, as we provide as a service for your registration with the hoppers and thanks to the specialized crew of Trailhouse, NorCal and Bike Peddler, you can leave a bottle or a hydration pack with your name clearly marked at the van. It will be set out at feed zone two. Uh, our recommendation is to start the ride with bottles that you are not too concerned about as they will be getting back very late in the day to re return your things. We will have them, but again, it'll be later in the day. Our start is at 8 a.m. with a neutral rollout on Low Gap Road with the police escort. We'll start staging around 7.15 a.m. if you wish to get out that early with restrooms back over here. Okay. So pro mentor staging, we don't have the mentor program. This is the slide from Low Gap. Hopefully you guys have checked out your video, but we'll start our staging here at the park. Please remember that the road is opening to oncoming traffic. And as we have our neutral rollout with the police, please stay in the right side in the one lane. Remember again also, so Ukiah, we're gonna be rolling out uh, to Low Gap Road, as does the short course as well. Both of them roll out the same. Both events finish on the north side of town on Masonite Road. Both these maps can be downloaded uh, onto your devices and or your phone on the Grasshopper webpage. The photo on the left shows you the transition uh, about two miles from town where it turns from pavement to gravel slash dirt. They have recently graded and worked on the road, so it's much better than it was uh, in this winter. And on the right is a, is uh, a shot of Leah and Flavia on our pre-ride looking east back into Ukiah. This is about what we expect the road on this section to be looking like during the day. I've made some uh, screenshots with arrows to give you guys a little more information about some key points on the course. The first being at mile 10.5. This is where at mile 62 on the long day, you'll be coming back up and going down Miller Ridge. At the start of the day, all riders, all routes continue past this intersection at 10.5 and descend down Low Gap Road. Again, all riders go past this intersection, 
only the long course will see this spot again, at which time the course arrows will be changed to direct you down Miller Ridge. Next, uh, at mile, approximately a mile 16 is where Low Gap Road will hit Masonite, okay? So we have to get off of Low Gap because of a closed uh, trestle crossing here onto the Masonite Road where you will proceed for about another 15 miles or so to uh, Navarro area of Highway 128 and Masonite. These are arrows to help orient, to help direct you that we'll have green arrows up until this point, showing that all routes follow them. From this point on during the day, the short course will follow uh, the blue arrows and the long course will follow the red. We'll have an aid station here. This will be marked. The long course will go left onto Masonite, go under the trestle and head towards Highway 128. Okay. This is low gap. Later in the day, you will come back on this and we will have a slide to show that. Okay. Approximately a mile 32 is where Masonite Road gets into Camp Navarro. We'll have an aid station and then you'll turn right onto Highway 128 for about a mile and then right again onto Flynn Creek Road. So stay right if you are not stopping at the feed zone communicate with riders in your group. It's important that we have a safe transition here. This, this, this spot is flat and it is can be a fast section. Those who are stopping at the feed zone, stay far to the left, set your bikes out of the way. Uh, if you are picking up a bottle, it will be on the exiting side of the feed zone. You can pick it up and leave. Anyone else can stop and fill up with water and scratch and grab some snacks. Again, please proceed with caution. Masonite Road is open to traffic. There's a camp up there, Camp Navarro, so we can expect some vehicles on this road on Saturday. At mile 50, after taking Flynn Creek to Comchi, you get to the intersection of Low Gap and Ore Springs Road. You will turn right on to Low Gap Road. This is a really important spot not to miss. You're going downhill at this point onto this right-hand turn. It will be signed. We do not intend to have marshals and people and vehicles out there at this point. Use your devices to help alert you at the intersections as well as following the course arrows. This is the same intersection with a reminder that at this point you are 22 miles to Ukiah via pavement uh, back to Ukiah. Uh, this is a spot where riders, uh, if they need to take a shorter route back, though not short, I say shorter, can take the bailout route. Um, please make sure to, if you do so, to uh, let us know, drop it at the finish line and let people know that you did that so we can record your number. Mile 57 is a crucial point. This is where you come back from Low Gap at the intersection of Masonite and Low Gap at what they call Woolies Pass. There is an aid zone. We have a very generous cutoff time of 2.30 p.m. We really want everyone to be able to finish this ride. But remember, it is very remote out here. Um, so you need to make your decisions wide, wisely so as to uh, get back at a good time and to not um, make us have to stay out there until the wee hours, all right? So this is the direction of the long course, low gap, back onto Masonite just briefly. And at this point, you're backtracking the start of the day for the long course. You will go back up low gap. If you are at 2.30 or later or even sooner and you wanna cut off a bit of the climb on low gap, you would proceed up Masonite Industrial Road as per the short course and then back to the finish. The conditions of the road, mixed terrain gravel adventure. There's some gravel, lots of dirt roads, which is uh, really, really fun to ride on. Lots of ups and downs. And you will have, as always, our incredible 
kind, patient, talented, uh, sportful Marshall crew. They're out there to lend you a hand and keep you safe. Please listen to their guidance um, and let them know if you spot a rider in need. Caution signs. If there's a caution sign, I've put it out there and I mean it. We'll put cautions before spots where you need it, whether it's a turn or a rutted section. With that in mind, even when there's not a caution signs, and I know that many people are out there to race, uh, don't forget that these are really remote, remote settings. Uh, injuries, most injury out here will require a helicopter ride. We don't have multiple ambulances standing by, so you really need to notch it down a little bit uh, to have a safe path through there, especially in, in places where you don't know what's ahead of you. We'll have wrong way signs. This time we're having a uh, Sinorama print red song signs that say wrong way to inform you. Uh, this is the intersection at uh, Masonite where you head back up Low Gap Road as per the uh, Low Gap ride. At the end of the day, near the end of the day, when you climb back up to the intersection of Miller Ridge, okay, just be aware. It's in much better shape than it was in January. It's drier, the water parts are more compact, but there's probably still a dozen water bars, so ten cuidado. And as you descend near going down to the finish on Masonite, it's a mixture of good pavement, bad pavement, dirt, and gravel. And there's some cup, there's quite a few cutaway really fast uh, corners with decreasing radius where we'll mark caution. And it's really important that you guys make sure to scrub your speed prior to the corners. There's several metal bridges out there that we will be marking, especially this one, you need to be careful. You could see that in the middle dividing it, there's a space just wide enough to slide your tire in there. So, cuidado. At the end, the finish line, we'll have scratch uh, recovery for you. There's scratch nutrition and hydration out on the course. This is a, a view of the finishing straight as you come down the Masonite Industrial Road. You'll see, you can see for over half a mile, the finish line right here. And then you'll proceed far, far past this into this area uh, where we'll have some recovery for you guys and you can sit and tell stories. Please, when you're waiting for other people, step off of the Masonite Road onto the vineyard so we can leave this open if we need to have a vehicle, emergency vehicle, um, and or other support out there. Then this arrow shows that you can take a path through the vineyards back to town. This arrow indicates this, the path back to Despina and back to Loga, and then Todd Grove. Come and join us at the after party with beer by Sierra Nevada, beverage by Guayaki, cold best day brewing, tacos by Coronel, and we'll have our podium as soon as we are able. We have a double podium, for one for the day and one for the overall series for those completing three of four. And as always, they will have their award for a bottom bracket for the first person, man and woman, finishing closest to 2 p.m., but not after. On your way up, don't forget to stop by Black Oak Coffee for a cup of coffee. And if you need something these last couple of days, swing by one of the specialized bike shops, Trailhouse, NorCal, or Bike Peddler in Santa Rosa. As always, thanks for our generous and supportive sponsors, and especially for this event, the City of Ukiah and Greater Ukiah Business and Tourism Alliance. I think this is going to be a top-notch event. Uh, we wish everyone a safe trip trip up here, please uh, check out the uh, PDF version of the slideshow so you have maps, download the routes, keep track of things on social media, and we'll see you hopefully out there for a shakeout ride, and if not, Friday or Saturday. Rubberside down, see you soon.